the last video, um, we developed a FPGA core for the Intellivision, but it only had a single embedded game. In this episode, um, we're going to design a PCB so that we could play all of the original cartridges for the Intellivision. I designed this PCB using Altium Circuit Maker. The first thing I tackled was the connections to the cartridge, and that's what's going on here. Then I worked on video. Video is um, VGA um, on this board. And each of the RGB videos is generated from a three bit resistor ladder DAC. That's why you see three resistors strung together here. All right, this here is the audio page. And right now I'm connecting um, a voltage translator to the AY38910 sound chip. So now let's look at some of the layout. Right now I'm routing the connections to the cartridge. And here I'm routing the video section. This section here is the joystick interface. Now we're looking at the audio section. We're routing the audio section here. And here's a 3D view of the overall board. So my package arrived uh, from DHL. We're gonna open it up now. It's from all PCB. So it's my circuit boards, and we'll take a closer look in a minute. All right, so this is what the top side of the board looks like. And the bottom looks pretty good. It's almost like ivory. I don't know if that comes across on the camera. But anyway, now it's time to get the components on. Okay, uh, so I'm going to start um, soldering some surface mount components. So now that I'm done with the surface mount components, uh, we're going to start uh, doing some of the through holes now. So things are shaping up now. Um, one of the last steps now is to basically solder um, the FPGA development board 
to the overall board. Well, here it is, more or less finished. Um, I'm missing some of the audio chips and then missing the speaker, but I have the volume control here. And yeah. All right, um, so the board is done. That's it right here in the foreground. And I have the Burger Time cartridge in there. And the reason why I chose that is because it has a nice animated startup sequence. And that's what we're gonna to try to do now. I'm going to configure the FPGA. See there, now you can see, like this is essentially um, the introduction to the Burger Time. Now, however, I don't have every palette programmed currently. So anything that's unprogrammed uh, has the color black, but that's actually an easy fix. Uh, we'll do that and we'll show you the net effect. All right, we're gonna check things out after the palette change. So yeah, that's like a much more colorful startup screen. I don't know if the colors are like 100% authentic to the original television, but uh, it's looking pretty nice here. I threw in some interim joystick control and I essentially use uh, a probe and I push select pins like in order to do the different things like up, down and the various buttons. And in terms of the cartridge, um, over here, this is the cartridge slot. And you put it in just like any other console. It actually feels really good to put these cartridges in. Anyway, um, we'll try out some of these games now. This is Tennis, which is a two-player game. For some reason, the bottom half of the player doesn't show up. So that's one of the graphic glitches. Haha, <laughs> and I finally get my serve timed properly here. This is Armor Battle. There's some graphical glitches here as well. So I can advance the tank forward. Both tanks, actually. Here's Astro Smash, which looks like a really cool game. It's a classic kind of game. I should say that hardware collision detection isn't working in my hardware right now. And that's why I can't destroy any of the rocks. Yeah, right here. I love that red explosion screen. Finally, we have Burger Time. If you look closely, you'll see that one of the characters is uh, missing his lower half. That seems to be a common uh, graphic glitch. It should be said I don't die here again because of the lack of hardware collision detection. Anyway, so I'm talking about glitches, not stuff. Those are not the fault of the games themselves. It's just my hardware emulation um, isn't working perfectly at this point. There's still quite a bit of debug remaining.
as you can see, not every feature is working, um, but all the same, uh, some pretty good progress. Uh, it's a lot of functionality in, in the games that I did show. Um, but yeah, please uh, join me for the next uh, few videos and hopefully we'll be able to uh, work out some of those bugs. Thanks.